So my name is Melissa Proctor, originally from Miami, Florida. We're true to Atlanta. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Atlanta Hawks as a brand and how we've transitioned into our current brand strategy. But being true to Atlanta means many things to us. For some people, it's being born and raised in the city of Atlanta. For me, I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. So I'll tell you a little bit about my transition to the Atlanta Hawks. Started out like this. Was a ball girl for the Hawks. If you look just past Michael Jordan, you'll see me mopping up sweat. <laughs> my goal in life was to be the first female coach in the NBA, never played basketball a day in my life, and I was an artist. And see how that turned out? Clearly, I'm here. But one of the most interesting things that I learned during my time as a ball girl with the Hawks is so much about fans, and for sometimes for the Hawks, how apathetic our fans were. And so that really helped me as I transitioned to this role to really look at how we build the Atlanta Hawks brand. So when I started in this position, that is marketing and CMO, but in brand strategy, one of the first goals we had was how do we really work on defining what the brand needs to be for our city and for our, for our team? So we did a little bit of research, and we learned that the NBA is incredibly popular in the city of Atlanta. People love basketball. If you ever look at ratings for all-star game, for finals, Atlanta having no players in any of those uh, <laughs> traditionally. Last year, we had a couple for all-stars. We were top in the ratings, but whenever it came to games, fans didn't show up. And so we learned we were a really big NBA town, really big with huge NBA stars, but only 17% of Atlantans said they were Hawks fans. So what we learned is there was a lot of apathy. And the very first thing that we decided to do as a leadership team was let's redefine our target audiences and figure out exactly who we stand for and who we want to build a brand for explicitly. We landed after doing a lot of research, Scarborough data, Nielsen, ratings, ticket data, you name it, we looked at it. We decided that looking at census data and where the city of Atlanta was and how we were growing to really build for the future and to scale, we needed to focus not just on millennials or young Xers, we call them next gen Atlantans. And that's important. We are not your parents Atlanta Hawks on purpose. And so for that, it was not just thinking of the people who had transitioned and moved and settled in Atlanta, but really who their kids are, because a lot of them were born there. So we needed to give their kids a reason to make the Atlanta Hawks their team. Secondly, as a subset of Next Gen Atlantans, we look at multiculturals. And for that, specifically African Americans, Atlanta is a really top AFAM city, as well as Hispanic audiences, which are really quickly growing in Atlanta. And then we also can forget about how we make money. So business to business was incredibly important. And that's everything from business-based ticket buyers to our corporate partners. And even though we're building the brand for Next Gen Atlantans, there are a lot of businesses that also want to target Next Gen Atlantans. So it was smart for us to also include them. And when we looked at these number-wise, we wanted to make sure that there was enough scale for us to really grow our business over time. And looking at the numbers in the city by age, population, looking at race and ethnicity, that was almost 2.8 million people we were talking to, so we knew there was a lot of room for growth here. And the very next thing we did was really define what is our guiding principle, what is our North Star, and that was our brand promise. We don't see the Atlanta Hawks as just a sports team. We're an entertainment brand. And so for us, it's really about how do we entertain and unite the city of Atlanta through basketball, which is a pretty tall order, but this is what we set out to do. Then we defined our brand values, and this is a combination of not just the things happening in the city, but also looking at Coach Bud and what he was doing with the team, what kind of values he was instilling there. So things like integrity, teamwork, being authentic, being inclusive, and really looking at innovation. And that's not just for us as an organization on the business side and the basketball side. When we look at Next Gen Atlantans, a lot of those values are really important to millennials as well. And then our brand personality, we're all about fun. Many of you may follow us on social media, and you'll see it's all about being playful, bold, sometimes irreverent, sometimes a little bit too much, um, but captivating. And I think for us, we really looked at, now that we've identified this as our brand strategy, how do we implement it and bring it to life every day? So here's a quick video to show you that. Let me show you what hot is. We are the Atlanta Hawks Basketball Club. The way we dress is different. Swagger, you know, that's I did not see this coming. Where we play is different. We have leadership who's different. The eye's gonna be there. Stevie K's gonna be there. Be there! That was a nice touch. You like that? And the way we speak to our fans 
is very different. One NBA team has taken matchmaking to a whole different level. Tinder users packed a love lounge. We see this as the digital version of bringing people together. It started trending on Twitter. Ashley Madison wants you to cheat. With the Atlanta Hawks. This is a sexy looking hawk right there. It really was. That's a pretty smart commercial by the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks are definitely thinking outside the box. Who's working in their marketing department? Like 25 year olds? <laughs> We are true to the city that is true to us. Let them off the show what you can do when you pull together. It's your Atlanta! Keep them climbing up! I look at this team right now, I totally underestimate them. True to Atlanta. And for the record, there are a lot of 25 year olds in our marketing department. <laughs> And so in really defining what that was, for our organization, we need to kind of help focus and say, what are the things we really wanted to build on? And so we created the five Bs of our business. The very first one is be bold in how we do business. A lot of the ideas you saw in that video were pretty bold ideas for our organization who hadn't previously done a lot of things like that. Next is be focused on our target audience. It's really easy to decide that if things don't really go the way you want, to just kind of open it up and be all things to all people, which initially we had tried to do. And so really being focused on next-gen Atlantans and know that's our target and everything we did needed to repeatedly beat the drum to speak to them was really important. Next up is building bridges through basketball. You saw a little bit of the court unveils, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But really looking at how we're building bridges to our community. And when I first started at the Hawks, I asked anyone what the Atlanta Hawks Foundation stood for. No one could answer the question, or everyone had a different answer. And we really decided early on that it was important for us to land the plane and say, you know what, no one can out-basketball a basketball team. And so if we really decided to build bridges to our community but focusing on basketball to do that, that we would really be able to have a strong platform to stand on. Next, believing in our brand and living it every day. Everyone in the office understanding this entire presentation and everything that I shared with you earlier so that they can speak about it and we were all kind of singing from the same songbook. And the last is building a culture of inclusion, diversity and Southern hospitality. So be bold in how we dress. And knowing that we were talking to Next Gen Atlantans, our initial goal in designing our uniforms was specifically so that we were the coolest team that a kid would want to pick if they were playing NBA 2K. <laughs> Traditionally, that's not how jerseys are designed, but for us, that was exactly it. And how we can weave a little bit of our history and our story into that. And so you saw the feather patterns, and we've had a lot of people say, my kid loves the Hawks playing on NBA 2K, which is amazing for us. And then also bringing back that Volt color, which was actually from the days of Pistol Pete in the 70s. It was a really interesting story because we learned so much about how that team in the 70s abandoned the red color that every other Hawks team had and went with blue and Volt because they wanted to stand out and be, show that they were different and just coming to Atlanta. So we revisited that because that was exactly the kind of energy that we wanted to inject into our brand. And in having that Volt color, we're the only team in the NBA that does. So in addition to being bold in how we dress, it was all, also about being bold in how we do our promotions. So you saw that little bit of the Ashley Madison video. It's crazy, but at the time, we literally found a woman that was born and raised in Atlanta with the name Ashley Madison at birth, who was pregnant in that, and had her do a whole 1-800 thing for us to help sell some flex plans. It was a lot of fun as well as Tinder, and we had to go where our audience was. We knew that next-gen Atlantans and millennials were on Tinder, so what can we do to really bring the energy of what happens in the social space to the physical location of our games? And really thinking through how we can elevate that for next season. Another thing that we tend to be really bold in is digital. So traditionally, we have a schedule release. It looks like this. We're in New York. I figured I'd pick on the Knicks. <laughs> it's how schedules are released. It's how they look. You want to know what's, what games are coming up, where you want to buy tickets to. This is how we released our schedule this year. We know our audience. There was also a key to go with this. You can figure out which emoji represents which team. But it's so important for us to be relevant to our targets, but also just do things that will really help grab attention, but not in negative ways, but in positive ways that really reinforce our brand strategy. The other thing that we try to do is be bold in our game presentation. Two years ago, we got our first 3D projection system, where some teams use it for special occasions. We use it every single night. And we're consistently trying to find new ways that we can advance what we've been doing on it so that we can engage our audiences in all completely different ways. And it's a lot of fun. One of the other things that we did is a lot of times you really don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. 
and we didn't really do a great job of embracing our heritage. And so two years ago, Dominique Wilkins, who many people feel is one of the most well-known hawks of all time, we actually honored him, which was a long time overdue. And so there's a statue of Neek in front of our arena currently. Last season, we honored Dikembe Mutombo as well. And so from us as an organization moving forward, it's really kind of highlighting our history and our heritage, because a lot of that rich storytelling is what helps people connect to your brand in a closer way. And the other thing we're doing is really trying to build a winning and diverse culture. We're the very first team to hire a chief diversity and inclusion officer. And so in the spirit of really working to entertain and unite the city of Atlanta through basketball, it was important. And we've done a lot of different things, even this Shoe Comes in All Colors campaign. And really recently, actually, on uh, the 10th of October, we'll be doing our first Unity game ever. And in the spirit of understanding that sports has the power to unite a city, we're going to use our game as a platform to do just that. It's our very first preseason game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And looking at all the headlines, especially in the last couple of days, there's a really big call for unity amongst our city and amongst the nation. And so we really believe that as a sports brand, we have the power to do so much in really speaking to our audiences. And next up, you know, building bridges through basketball. Next Gen Atlantans want to be a part of a brand that, and want to follow brands that are doing good for the community and the world. And for us, a really big part of that is refurbishing courts. And we do it all over the city, and not just in places where people would expect us to or where we would sell more tickets, but it's really in places where kids may not have access to great courts to play, play it. And we've even heard some really early stats that some of, this, some of the places where we put these courts, crime has actually gone down which is exciting for us. So we know that we're really making a mark in the community in ways that people know that the Atlanta Hawks are here and doing good things. And so with that, when I first started in this role, we created this slide, which is weird. It was like two years ago. And we said, you know, how do we show our business plan in a visual way that really helps people understand you know, what our path is moving forward? And we needed to really show our commitment to the community. And as you can see, that's our reach and foundation. Once we can really show that the community that we're here and build that fan passion, then media and social engagement will come from that. Then television ratings will come from that. And once we have that foundation set, now we have the, the eyeballs to help us get the financial fuel, which would come from everything that happens in arena, ticketing, food and beverage, sponsorships and media rights. But then ultimately, if we really want to become a winning organization, we have to have the goals of getting top talent. Top talent will not come if you don't have premier facilities. And so for us, you know, practice facility is the norm around the league, and we didn't have that. And so we really needed to find ways to kind of build this pyramid from the bottom up to get to where ultimately we wanted to be, which is a winning organization. And that was internally from a business standpoint, but also on the basketball side. So you see on-court success really matters to help us get there. And how have we done against that? Here's our score sheet. By the numbers, we're up. We were doing so well. Social, our numbers are up. Retail and store, that look and feel to really kind of identify us as a different Atlanta Hawks or the next generation of Hawks has worked tremendously. And then from an attendance standpoint and even membership, people are really gravitating towards the team and the brand. And so it really shows us that our strategy is working. And in addition to that, we're really proud of the fact we just broke ground with Emory on a practice facility. Finally, very exciting. And as a part of that, we're also looking at how do we reimagine our arena so that we become the place for next-gen Atlantans to come and watch games and other entertainment options. So it's not just talking about it, but making sure we're creating the physical space for that to also make sense. And so with this, you can kind of see a little bit of how next-gen Atlantans have embraced us physically on their bodies, with their pizza in the back of their head. But you know, it, it's really reassuring every day when we look at social to see the chatter and to see how people are responding to the work that we've done over time. And so you know, really quickly, I'll just leave you with focusing on your target audience, whoever it may be, over and over again. Relevancy is key for us. How do we remain relevant? Our goal for this year is 50 weeks of relevance, because even relevance needs some time off. So let's get some weeks. <laughs> But really having 50 weeks of relevance is crucial for us and making sure that we zig when others are zagging. So with that, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>